Hello, this is Dr. Jerome Fryer, chiropractor and chief innovations officer at Dynamic Disc Designs. Today I want to show you a simulation of a compression fracture. You are looking at an L3 vertebrae cut mid-sagittally, and this vertebrae was chosen because of its degenerative nature. In order to simulate a compression fracture, compression needed to be elicited. A compression fracture is defined by a collapsing of the vertebrae, most commonly due to a weakening of the trabeculae within the vertebral body. But we also see compression happen as a result of trauma. The C-clamp simulates the compression the vertebrae may experience from the discs above and below. If you look carefully, you will see the trabeculae fracture as the C-clamp is tightened. You will see another fracture caused as the C-clamp is tightened even further. This is a painful finding because of the basal vertebral nerve that exists within the vertebral body. You can see end plate depression happened as a result of the clamp. You can see the osteophytes on the anterior margin fracture off. There's a step defect in the end plate that's also demonstrated. You can see anterior vertebral wedging. This is all the same bone, but just pictures taken at different angles. If you want to learn more about other painful spinal conditions, visit dynamicdiscdesigns.com